Welcome to ELF Hosted. This video follows on from an earlier video about how to use the AIO metadata add-on to make Streamio more family friendly by applying a content rating and a digital release filter to the catalogs which control what is shown on your board or discover pages. In this case I'm using the PG-13 filter and you can see that for example Game of Thrones does not appear as a visible series. That means my kids can't accidentally click on it and start watching Season 1, Episode 1. But you also notice that some movies which are still in cinema, like Tron Aries, are still showing up in the catalogs. So the digital release filter is not perfect. It's only as good as the source of the metadata that provides it, and sometimes these can be wrong. Further, sometimes you can find that a upcoming movie, for example, Coco 2, appears and somebody has released porn troll videos designed to catch you out and shock you. The last thing you want is your kids to be playing on Streamio, find one of these, click it and be forever scarred. So there are a few more things we can do other than AIO metadata to further lock down what is displayed in Streamio. If you look at the Streamio account, you'll see what I've done here is I've installed two popular add-ons directly into Streamio stream through tours and comet but if I was to use AIO streams to combine these I can then use powerful filtering to filter out results that I don't think are appropriate so what I'm going to do back in Streamio is remove tours and comet then go to AIO streams and set up an advanced configuration I will enable my real debrid account and then under add-ons, we'll start with just the same add-ons we had earlier. You can always add more later. But for now, we'll add Comet, because we had him before. And we'll add Stream Through Tours. Done. There's our two add-ons. Next, we'll go to Filters. This is optional, but I prefer to choose only the resolutions that I would ever care to watch. Often the scam or porn results will be a low resolution because they're a low size. Move down to matching, enable matching, and turn on your matching. You can set a tolerance of one in this case. This means that if a movie was released officially in the end of 2024, but the release that you found is dated 2025, it's still going to appear. But if it's something like Coco2.mp4 with no year behind it, it'll be filtered out. And finally, just in case, turn on the digital release filter. This applies the same way as AIO metadata. It's not perfect because it's only as good as the source of the data. Go down to save, choose your own password, you can make this password up, and click on create. Install the add-on into Streamio. Now you have AIO streams installed as an add-on. This time, if I was to search for Coco 2, although it still appears in the catalog, we can't stop that, you'll see that there are no stream results. It can't be played. There's one more add-on that I like. There's one more add-on I'd suggest to you from a family-friendly perspective, and that's the Streamio Ratings add-on. You can find it from our Streamio add-ons guide Streamio add-ons guide.alvosted.com. Scroll down to Rating Aggregator. This one is really simple. You just install it. There's nothing to configure. Install. Now you'll see what happens when you pick a item. You'll get metadata as if it were a stream under Ratings Aggregator, giving you a parental rating, uh, IMDb's rating, uh, Rotten Tomatoes rating, and so on. In some cases, you even get a uh, parent-friendly rating to tell you if there's a sex scene or not in the movie. The problem, as you see here, is the rating aggregator is showing its results at the bottom, which is not useful. So we want to move the rating aggregator results to the top. You can't just drag and drop here in Streamio. Your add-ons are presented in the order that you installed them. But Stream Through has a fix for us. If you go to streamthrough.alphosted dot com and then you run sidekick here you'll need to log in with your Streamio account details or 
if you fancy your auth token i'll demonstrate the account details and log in now we're going to go to add-ons load our add-ons this is a tool which is just it manipulates the Streamio api on your behalf and we'll see i have my add-ons here i have local files i don't really care about that one yeah streams with ratings aggregators at the bottom if i push it up to the top like that now it'll be the first result that's now all i have to do back in Streamio, if i was to do a search again in fact you'll see this one refreshed the ratings aggregator results are now at the top which means when i pick something fresh the very first result i get which is almost instant because it's all cached is the ratings aggregator so now i can teach my children and myself when we're watching movies to, to first look at the results that appear here before even trying a stream if it seems to be plus 13 i would be cautious uh, if the rotten tomatoes rating is too low or imdb is too low I've taught my children not to bother because we don't want to watch something, it's no good. So we now have three add-ons making our Streamio as family-friendly as possible. We have Ratings Aggregator, giving us a quick summary of the ratings per item. We have AIO Metadata, giving us beautiful catalogs like this. Look at the previous video to see how to get these streaming provider-specific catalogs. And we have AIO Streams, an extremely powerful and versatile add-on, which we can later customize. So now that we've installed this, we have a UUID. You can make changes to your AIO Streams configuration. For example, you could add uh, Media Fusion, let's say. Media Fusion. Install it go down to save click on save that's it nothing needs to be reinstalled in Streamio but now when you do a search in Streamio for something ridiculous AIO streams will also be providing results from media fusion hopefully we've eliminated a lot of the nasty stuff that the trolls are putting into the torrent ecosystem to try and troll you as usual there's no perfect solution Sitting with your kids is probably the best way to do it, but this gives me some comfort when I'm busy in another room and the kids are picking a movie to watch on Streamio. I'm not too worried they're going to find something that is going to be hugely inappropriate. Happy streaming!